While the wraps have been off the test mules for the 2010 Camaro for some time, Chevy has been mum on the final configuration of its reborn pony car until now. The Camaro will be offered in two trim levels, RS and SS. The former, powered by a 3.6 liter overhead cam direct injection V6, making upward of 300 brake horsepower, which can be equipped with either a 6-speed manual or GM's 6-speed automatic. The SS will sport two pushrod 6.2 liter V8s, ranging from 395 to 420 brake horsepower. Those who choose the Tremec 6060 manual will get the LS3 from the Corvette, while buyers opting for the 6-speed automatic will get the L99 V8 with active fuel management, which cycles back and forth between 4 and 8 cylinders to boost fuel economy. The LS3 is expected to make about 420 brake horsepower and 408 foot-pounds of torque, while the L99 is estimated at 395 brake horsepower and 395 foot-pounds of torque. The V6 will run on regular unleaded gasoline, while both V8s are specified to take premium. Likewise, there is a difference in brake packages from V6 to V8. The RS has single piston calipers with 12.6 inch front and 12.4 inch rear discs, while the SS is equipped with 4 piston calipers clamping down on 14 inch front and 13.6 inch rear rotors. Based on the Holden developed Zeta platform, the Camaro is equipped with a multi-link independent rear suspension and rides on a 112.3 inch wheelbase measuring 189.6 inches overall, just slightly larger than the current Mustang. Chevy puts the Camaro's curb weight at 3,750 pounds with a 5248 front rear distribution. Production will begin to ramp up late this year for a first quarter launch in 2009. Coupes will be produced first with a convertible slated about 10 months later.